Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we are going to be watching What We Do in the Shadows, season four, episode nine and 10. Like I am finishing season four. What do you mean? How am I already here? That's so crazy. I only have one more season left that I can watch like this. And then after that, I have to wait for season six with you guys. Like I am going to be officially caught up. So that's crazy. I don't know how this happened so quickly, but here we are. Very excited to see how this season will end. Here are my predictions. We definitely need to see Guillermo's boyfriend. Like they set that thing up so early on in the season. We're not gonna wait until next season to resolve that. So I'm excited to see his boyfriend, figure out what's going on with that. Like he apparently loves his boyfriend, like Guillermo loves his boyfriend. So how does that work? And like, what's Nando going to say when he meets him? Is he gonna be jealous? Like I'm very excited for that. I'm also excited to see what Nando will use his wishes on. I feel like that also has to happen this season. He still has three more wishes and I wonder what he's gonna wish for. I'm also feeling that Marva is gonna be gone by the end of this season. Clearly Nandor is not very happy with her and I think she was just like a one season addition. At least I hope so. I mean I have nothing against Marva. She seems like a sweet girl or at least she did until she you know just likes the things Nandor likes. Like that's a little boring to watch but I still kind of need her to get out of the way so there could be room for Nandor and Guillermo. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen in the finale. I can't wait to see how this season will end and I'm excited to see if they're gonna set anything up for season five. Season three kind of ended on a cliffhanger I would say so yeah I wonder if they're gonna do the same thing this season. So yeah if you guys are interested you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is gonna be in the description down below. And let's just get into the episode. What can I say the nightclub has really taken off recently nadja's has become the hot spot for the tri-state area vampire community so i was so happy for her this place has even started attracting human celebrities which is really great for business wait who sophia you stupid bitch when are you gonna put me in one of your movies i want to show the camera my bling ring oh my god celebrity special for two anyone okay oh. you go over here Sofia Coppola is gonna die! It's to die for. Alright! Oh, shit! Yeah. Yes, that was. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I could never afford a gag like this. That's amazing. <gasps> oh my god! We're so glad you're enjoying the show, Jim. <laughs> oh my god, poor Sofia! What the fuck? celebrities to come on their show and they just kill them brutally like that's so funny Sophia you think that the celebrities would have caught on by now but I've got Chloe Sevigny and Tiki Barber booked for tomorrow night are you fucking kidding me what, what do you mean that baby Colin is not performing he goes on every night at 3 a.m I know my darling but things have <gasps> poor kid he should be asleep the nightclub is extraordinarily successful so his contract must reflect that he doesn't have a contract Ooh. Ooh, he's his lawyer. He's his dadager, right? So, full disclosure, I met someone. Oh, you don't say. And there was this guy, Freddie. And yeah, we just had this whirlwind romance. Ever since I've been back here, we've been FaceTiming like all the time. I am happy for him, but I want him to be happy with Nador. He's coming to New York for the weekend, which is super exciting and super terrifying <laughs> because oh, shit. He's the first person that I've ever really dated, dated, you know? I'm gonna pick him up at the airport and we're gonna spend the whole weekend in the city. Just Freddy and I and... Nope, sorry. Sorry, guys. Oh, I'm excited for him. What's gonna go wrong? Prize! Oh, <laughs> oh Freddy! Oh, my God, oh shit! Oh, my God, look at your face. Oh, no, be careful. The mail you sent me. Oh, my God, you Americans. Yeah, I can never remember. <laughs> oh. oh, God, oh, God, here we go. It is very kind of you, but I'm not hungry right now. Guillermo's face. Nightclub staff will not make direct eye contact with Colin unless they are giving him a gift. Oh. I'm sorry, who is he? Alan? Call me Colin, an hour of sing songs and laugh em ups for the whole fam family. Are you gonna sign it? Of course not! <laughs> My darling, if it wasn't for this boy, your club would be as dead as disco. And guess what? 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 All I wanna do is sing and dance and make people smile. I don't even really mm. care about all this mm. contract baloney. No, 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 he doesn't know what he's saying. So. I think he does. Last law, are you trying to shake down your own wife? All right. What is this made of? 
Fuck no! Do you think that my club needs his little weird ventriloquist tap dancing freak? Hey. But he is our main attraction. Why be mean to him? He did nothing wrong. I bet the owner of the hottest vampire nightclub on the phone to me day and night, and he's not the <gasps> only one. What kind of phone is that, Laszlo? I, I thought you worked at the UN. <laughs> Don't be silly. The ammo does not work at the UN, Dane. He forgets a lot of things. His mind doesn't work the way he's do, so I volunteer my days off. Oh, you're so sweet. Why did you not tell me you had a friend coming to visit? Oh, we're uh, friends. We're a little bit more than friends, actually. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm so Best friends. <laughs> Just friends. That's too funny. This is fantastic news. Right? Good. <laughs> and a long time coming. Oh. He has been very lonely. Oh. Well, extremely not, lonely. Not that lonely. Pretty lonely. Not that lonely. I disemboweled many villagers to get this tapestry. We're thinking about Mimus Medicine. I tell you to get a Roomba in here, but uh, I think it might kill itself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't resist. I don't know what any of that means, but I love it. It wasn't very funny. So nice okay. to meet you. What a what a pleasure. I'll see you very soon. Yes. All right. Hopefully. <laughs> bye bye. Hopefully. Why did you say it like that? Don't eat Guillermo's boyfriend. Or do. But then, if you do, you have to confess your love for Guillermo. My mind has been seized by thoughts of a very special person. A person by the name of no. Freddy. Are you insane? He fell in love with Freddy? I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Sweet, supportive native echoed in my mind. He touched my arm. <laughs> also, things have grown a little stale with my beloved Mao. You don't fucking say, bitch, I did not expect that at all. What is this? It was a little bit hard, so I put a cushion on it. Wonderful. Yes. Fuck, she's boring. But marriage is sacred to me. I never once cheated on any of my 37 wives, and I'm not about to start now. Could I steal Freddy from Guillermo? Of course. But that would be cruel. And also, you know, sloppy seconds. If only... Excuse me for... I'm not sure if this is possible, but... Dude, I wish what are you doing? I want to be transformed into an exact copy of... No! Are you insane? What are you doing? Why are you whispering? Because Mawa is someone that I love very much and I don't want to hear that I'm about to change into a completely different person. Poor Marwa. She's been through so much. Mawa? Well, that's not what she's called now, right? If she's an exact copy. Hi there. I'm Freddy. Nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> Boy, this place is pretty dusty. I tell you to get a rumba in here, but I think it might kill itself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? I love you like a sister, baby. You know it. But even if you even think about damaging my brand, I will cut you in two. <laughs> Okay! Freshly drained blood of a drunk human <laughs> celebrity. Just a little something to keep mama sharp. Rest in peace, Sofia Coppola. Bring on the first <laughs> little freak! Let me call you sweet. Flat! Flat! You don't have the range, babe. Get off my stage! Oh, oh, the poor little kid. Stop it. Okay, stop tapping. Watch and learn, bitch. There's a large bird stealing all my brother. But what am I watching, Nadja? Ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! Things are going really, really, really well, well with Freddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm disturbed. I even let him make a list of all the things he's always wanted to do in New York City. I'm having the best time with my Freddy. Oh my god, I'm dying. No, no, no. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> this is a bizarre episode. So this weekend has made me realize that I really need a life outside of work. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like I literally kept seeing Nandor everywhere, which is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that is ridiculous. And then I realized, why am I even trying to find another child performer? Fuck them kids. This is a scary, sexy nightclub I decided to call Le Cirque Erotique. The Cirque Erotique, some of the most thrilling, obscene spectacles known to vampires. They're famously tough to book. But they are coming here to perform tonight! Ha <laughs> ha! Why aren't you doing your scales, boy? Hey, time to hit the road. Shit. 
This little star's ready to shake his moneymaker. He's an adult! What the fuck? Do you feel there's something wrong? No. How far is it to the venue? <laughs> venue! Let's give a warm Binghamton welcome to the most talented little boy in the world, Baby Colin. Baby Colin! <laughs> It, it, yeah, it is. Oh, it's Everyone either. hates me! Oh, honey! The clown who can suck himself off. I put a little comedy into it as well. Now, where is a good place for me? <laughs> Her face. Hey, look who it is. <laughs> Freddy, what are you, how? <laughs> Welcome. You were just in the car with me. Don't be silly. This is not your Freddy. <laughs> this is my own Freddy. All right, bruv. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, bruv. Oh, my God. You should be flattered. Put him back. You are taking his home. No, we need um, to go. Freddie, you should probably wait in the car because. Uh oh. Ah! Sophia, so it turns out it's just some guy sucking his own dick. Anyway, very funny the way you guys disappeared the other night after the bloody magic trick, which I'm still trying to figure out. But enough is enough. Come on, call me back. <laughs> it was a pleasure for me to suck myself off for you. Good night. Wasn't it amazing? I've never lasted that long. <laughs> The new adventures of old Christine. Yes. And it's day. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's why he was holding his hand. In sync. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Now they're getting on great. So the situation is totally fine. Uh, it's not. Couldn't you just let me have one thing of my own? I did. You have your thing and I have mine. Oh, so you took your wife or you transformed into the perfect woman and then turned her into a carbon copy of my boyfriend? Doesn't that register with you as being messed up? Stop saying things that I have done. This is my last night with Freddy. <laughs> Stop recapping my life, Guillermo. But I've never in my whole life ever had a long-term boyfriend, not once. And you find a way to make it about yourself. So thanks. Oh, Guillermo. Awesome to meet you, Freddy. Awesome to meet you too, Freddy. Freddy, don't talk to Freddy. Oh, damn. So what, is the other Freddy just gonna stay around? Bye. I love you. Meaning, I'm back to my normal life. Being a familiar for Nandor. Oh, Guillermo, I'm so sorry. And his exact clone of my boyfriend. This is awful. Bombshell, am I right? I had to put Sorry, the journal down and take a walk around the block. <laughs> Me too. I just had to put no, the journal he... down and take a walk. Careful. I'm sorry, can we cut? You can't cancel our dates, you- I'm so sorry, honey. I'm repulsive. Good grief, whatever is that foul out there? It's me and Lazlo, guess what? What? I hate you, you're ruining my life. <laughs> I am beginning to think that maybe what I did was wrong. Probably not, but... It could never be. You could never do anything wrong, Nandor. I set out to make things right with Guillermo. I offered to give him my Freddy. That's, that's not... As a token not... of apology no. and also so that they could have sex with each other. No. Nandor, honey, very sweet, but absolutely the fuck not. That's when I knew I had to let my Freddy go. Which also meant letting my wife Mawa go. Oh, but I did leave... Wait, it's kind Sweet. Perhaps true love is about more than wishing for someone who likes all the things you like. My sweet friend. You don't say. This dream was to travel the world. I suppose I am the one who is now granting a wish. Fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, wait. I love this. It 
he did because Guillermo was sad. He was selfless. That's actually super surprising. And despite my hopes of a comeback, it is clear that our best days are behind us. Who is this young ruffian? You remember baby Colin? Well, he's had a growth spurt. Hey. Hey! Did I really thought this skipped over his teenage years? I decided to go surprise Freddy. Because why not, right? You only oh live no. once. Oh no, how's this gonna end? Is Freddy gonna be sucking himself off? Is that him over there, right? With. Um... Like, what the heck? Oh, hey, now he's free to be with Nandor. Billy Wraith Cyrus, Wraith No More, Wraith Charles. What is he on about? I could go on. Don't, because I don't know what any of that was. I'm so sorry. But yeah, now let's get into the finale and maybe possibly Nandor and Guillermo getting together. Like, dude, I love Nandor choosing Guillermo and like becoming selfless for him so that he wouldn't be sad. Like that was so cute. And now Marva's out of the way, Freddy's out of the way. Are they gonna get together? Is that how the season ends? God, hope so. Ah, I hit my ah, oh, my apple. Ah. Anyway, let me just hit play for on the next episode. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Baby Colin is miserable, and it's a mystery to me. <laughs> he's a teenager, man. Which is so weird because that's his like middle-aged body. That's why I thought he just skipped his teenage years. Now he barely talks to me. And when he does, it's very unpleasant. Oh, poor Laszlo. Why don't we hop the fence at the zoo and see if those baby rhinos have grown since the last yeah, time we... I'm kind of busy right now. Looked at them. Oh, Thank you. Oh, no, this is so sad. I wish you were dead, Dylan. No, no, come yes, on. I do. No, it's like he's half kid, half adult. I mean, he looks like Colin Robinson and he sounds like Colin Robinson, but mentally he's all over the place. Jesus Christ. When did she get to be a beauty? Oh, poor Laszlo. His son grew up too fast. Wasn't it yesterday when they were small? <laughs> I love the intro like this. What the fuck? Oh my god! Dude, they changed the intro, that's so funny. Even when we <gasps> what a fucking picture of him at the end there as well. Now that we don't have baby Colin as our big draw, the nightclub has just gone to a big steaming shit. I wouldn't say shit. Uh oh, is it gonna get close up this episode? But we're really scraping the bottom of the old desperate barrel at this point. A lot of bachelorette parties. <laughs> We worked so hard on the haunted house. Seemed like a slam dunk. Oh Wait. my god, sire! Did they just order all the costumes off of Amazon? Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah. Children's bed. Don't be mean to the sire. It's just a phase, he'll grow out of it. Well, at the rate he's growing, he should have grown out of it already. Well, at least he's not a boring energy vampire. I'd rather he was boring than this. Insolent monster. With respect, neither of you know how to speak to the younger generation in their own language. What? And you do? <laughs> Some of my finest soldiers were just teenagers. It was essential to communicate with them in their own lingo, because we'd usually put the youngsters at the front, oh, and they would instantly be mowed down by the attacking army. So they were always a little reluctant to stand there. You don't say. I will fix. Oh, Colin's gonna make him cry. Very cool tunes. I too get off on rocking out to cool tunes like this. But you know, there's more to life than just... Oh, you don't want to do that. It's gonna hammer in your head. There's more to life than just rocking out to cool tunes. Like what? Ah, you're probably too young to crock what I'm trying to lay down. One of the old-time coolest ways of rocking out is to be nice and polite to your housemates and to your elders. Wow. Really? And, and do you think this could work for me? Oh, he's gonna insult him in one second. Thank you for blessing me with these pearls of wisdom. Uh-huh. Very... Right. See? Just have to know how to speak their language. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. May I introduce you to Mr. Phineas Taylor Barnum? Hmm. 
Hmm. Mr. Oh, Barnum. Petey Barnum. Great advice about bringing in the crowd. Oh no, not him. Why is he still alive? Petey Barnum died over 150 years ago. Is he a vampire? Yeah, don't ask me to explain. Well, I feel like I must ask you to explain. <laughs> it's no big deal. Well, I'm your boss, so do you want me to use my loud voice? Hi, guys. I... Oh, for... oh, hi. Hey, <laughs> I... Oh, for fuck's sake, it's not Colin. I mean, I, I didn't burn it just for you, because I'd be creepy. <sighs> and pathetic. Well, I had an extra CD, I guess, and so... Thank you, Colin. I will... Wait, does he have a little crush on the guide? Figure out how to listen to this. If you like the songs, maybe we could <laughs> hang out sometime. And if you don't like the songs, I don't really give a shit. So either way, it's, you know, whatever. All right, later. Bye. Bye. Oh my God, you don't got game. And I have learned the ancient art form of summoning the dead. <gasps> This is She's a necromancer? So you can't bring any person back from the dead. Only the ones that I own the souls of. One moment. What do you Let's... mean you own their souls of? The second finest collection of human dead souls in these United States. Wow. Oh my god, what the fuck? Joplin, I presume? Happy yeah. to meet you. I, I don't know who that is. I'm so sorry. Well, it kind of is a big deal, Sean, because he stole your car. Maybe you could help us understand what you were thinking? I don't know. Your behavior, it's nothing like the Colin we know. The Colin you know? You don't know me at all. I mean, you can't tell me who my parents are or where I came from or why I have these thoughts in my head about hammering holes in the wall. We don't know ourselves! Yeah, that is weird. We didn't used to do that. Listen, you ungrateful fuck, you're giving me the pit. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're doing our best here. Oh, well, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> my dad and I used to fight like this all the time and nothing good came from it. You understand me? Yes. Okay. But my pops and I, <laughs> okay. when I say go, start swinging. Wait, what? First one to tap out, other one's head of the household. No. Three. What are you talking about, Sean? No. I feel better now. I'm sorry that I disappointed you. Mm. Mm. Do we trust this? Mr. Rinaldi, maybe we can go find a tow truck and get your car out of Richmond Creek. Good man. Come on. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, his powers are kicking in. He's feeding on us, but not by boring us, but by infuriating us. I think he might be right. Wait, what? Colin Robinson is an energy vampire. Yep, which means I have to tell him. I have to tell him exactly what he is. Oh, shit, I'm so excited. Where do you get your ideas from? Mr. Da Vinci, if you want to jump in any time, just feel like a normal conversation where you're cutting each other and... Sospetto che non parli l'italiano? Too true. I think he asked you if you speak Italian. If I'd have been told when I was your age that I'd be burdened with rugged good looks, a rapier wit, and a thick cock, I too would have protested. But uh, them's the bricks. An energy vampire just, it sounds so awful. You should have ought to done something about it instead of just sitting here. Done what? Killed your ass? Man makes plans and <laughs> laughs. Who, God? <laughs> now you're blaming God? <laughs> Who next, baby Jesus? Oh, yeah, yeah. I hate you! <laughs> you know, with Nandor's wife Marwa gone and Colin basically all grown up, I feel like there's not much for me to do around here. You're gonna leave again? So I guess this is what it feels like to be an empty nester. Oh, honey. Nothing ever changes. Even in my personal life, I found my first boyfriend and he left me for himself. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's like hamsters in those wheels. I'm a hamster in a wheel. Oh, poor Guillermo. He's going through it. There's nothing like the end of a relationship to really make one appreciate being alone. <laughs> so that's it? It is what? It was so important for you to find a wife and have a huge wedding, and now that's all gone and you're just fine? Pretty much, yeah. Don't you feel like nothing ever changes around here? Like every day just leads to the next and then the next, and before you know it, years go by? Yes. Isn't it wonderful? Well, yeah, it's an immortal, but not a Guillermo. I've really got back into reading books, so I think I'm just gonna do this for a while. That's so me, got it. For how long? Not long, 15 years, maybe 20. Wish I had that much time to just read. That would be so fun. Dude, he's so angry. Is it just because he's a teenager or what? Because our calling was definitely not like this. We can reach a bigger group of people by simply recording it and then broadcasting it electronically. 
Hello and welcome to Talk History with Nadia of Antipasto. They have a podcast now. Mm-hmm. Nice. Would you be so kind as to read out this card, Mr. Gandhi? Pan seared steaks with hot honey biscuits, cheesy pork. Is it doing sponsor segments? Yum, yum, yum. But tell me, Mahatma, when was the first time you tried Blue Apron? Oh my god. You guys should probably get out of here. It's over. Oh, I'm sorry, Nadja. Your dream is over. That sucks. <gasps> what is he gonna find? His own corpse? <gasps> oh, shit. Is that why he's been destroying? Because he was looking for this subconsciously? <gasps> Nadja, you're gonna burn it all to the ground and collect that sweet insurance money? That's smart. Shit. What is that? A map to something? One, two, three. Okay, what does that mean? Bullseye? Is that what you're supposed to hit? Excuse me? What the fuck is happening? <gasps> Where does that door go? Did the other call and nobodies? Must have, right? Are these all his past lives or something? Has he always lived in this house? God, this is insane. So did he know? Did R. Colin Robinson know what he was? Like, where he came from? But we did get lucky. Nothing actually got burned. Phew. What? Nothing got burned. How is that even possible? The blood sprinklers went off and extinguished the fire before it could really get going. The blood oh, sprinklers. Oh, shit. Of course now they work. This is making me very hungry. Well, then start licking, babes. Your office is the only room that got burned. Because there are no blood sprinklers in it. Yes. I Wait. Did her stashed away money burn too? Mm -hmm. I... Oh, you're so silly, Nadja. Haven't been making the best decisions recently. Thanks to all the delicious liquor blood I've been drinking. Oh, I see. She's been high off her tits. That makes sense. <laughs> My money. She was so fresh and green. <laughs> the faces are all bad. Not the faces. His hair is falling out and he's going bald. He's starting to need his glasses too. We're getting our old Colin back. How much money could we get if we set him on fire? Hey, hey, what's up? How's it hanging? L O L R O F L Y O L O O M G W T F. O M G, he's back. But how the shit have you. Oh, well. The great thing about keeping a detailed diary is if you ever forget anything about your life, you can look it up. It's also great for receipts. Now, a lot of people keep receipts, but they forget to write down what they were for. Which... <laughs> the airway is done. It's like, fuck me, he's back. Misa Jaja Binks. It's him. Oh, well, <laughs> welcome back, original Colin Robinson. Now. How much is here? That's so crazy. How much money do we have in our bank account? Uh, around six hundred and fifty-five thousand four hundred and fifteen dollars and change. <laughs> now I oh, wanted yes, to roll that. In. Holy shit! If there's anything I enjoy more than managing a project, it's micromanaging a project. And so after you. <laughs> uh, Laszlo, what do you want to do with this race car bed? You want to keep it, or can we get rid of it? With. Oh, he's gonna wanna keep it. That's your bed. I, I've never seen this bed in my life. All right, well, shit can the bed. Wait, what? So you really don't remember anything from the last year? Uh, no, not really. I, I remember it was my 100th birthday party and I had a bit of a tummy trouble. And, right. and I, what? Everything in between is a blank. You don't remember me bringing you up from a small baby? No. That's so crazy. What the fuck? And then sometimes we'd jump over the fence at the zoo in the middle of the night to look at the baby rhinos. Yeah, no. Doesn't ring a single bell. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. You sure? Yeah. Oh, oh Laszlo, you truly lost Colin, like baby Colin. Oh, is that one of the sons? Maybe he kind of remembers subconsciously? Nothing ever changes in this house. Nothing is ever going to change, unless I change it. So, that's it for me. Oh, and what? you guys can use my room for storage if you want. You're gonna leave again? This is like the third time he's leaving. It's never stuck, Guillermo. Derek? 
Is he gonna get him to turn him into a vampire? What is so urgent? Well, Derek, this is for you. Whoa. If you turn him into a vampire. What did I do to deserve this? Nothing. Yes. It's what you're about to do. Which <gasps> is? Oh my god. Oh my you're god. You're gonna make me a vampire. Oh my god. Oh my oh god. god. Oh my god. He's fucking smirk. No way we're getting vampire Guillermo for the last two seasons. Please tell me. Please do it. I would love that so much. That'd be so cool. Sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, sunset, swiftly flow the days. I'm gonna miss baby Colin. He was a creep, but I liked him. Dude, that's so crazy. I can't believe Colin Robinson doesn't remember being a little boy and he remembers his 100th birthday because of the notes. Like, I'm so confused by the whole thing because. Colin must have left his memories as a failsafe. Like, did he know what was going to happen to him? Because it seemed like he didn't. But then why did he leave all that like that? Like, why was it so hidden? I just... I'm so confused. It's so intriguing. I really hope we can learn more about, like, energy vampires and the full lore behind them next season. Because I'm still so unsure about it and i still have so many questions like i can't believe we have colin robinson back i didn't think we were gonna get him back because he kept being just a child and i was waiting for him to turn into a teenager which he obviously did in the previous episode but then i thought that he was already his adult self just because like he was playing himself at that point like he didn't get a teenager to play his body right because i was like yeah that's his like 40 year old body like that's not a teenager's body at all so I thought they skipped the teenage years but no they had those and now he just skipped over them and became who he was because of his diaries like that's so weird I don't really get that so I hope we can explore that next season but man Guillermo might be turning into vampire and I'm so excited like oh the money oh did he still oh no no was that his own mommy that he mommy Okay, was that his old money that he stole from the club, or is that the money he stole from Colin Robinson's account? You know, he definitely stole that money from somewhere. I'm just wondering which place he stole it from. But yeah, holy shit! Please, please turn him into a vampire. I would die. Like that'd be so cool. And then just seeing Nander's reaction when Guillermo walks through the doors as a vampire then maybe finally there could be romance between them like please i am dying to see that like i'm really really waiting for that so yeah hopefully we can see that asap i do really feel bad for laszlo though like he loves his little boy like they were really bonding and having so much fun together and then all too soon he became a teenager and that relationship had a huge rift in it and he was never even able to repair it because he then forgot he forgot all of those memories like their year together because for the first year it was just laszlo and Colin and it's so sad I feel so bad for Laszlo like that must be so hard for him hopefully his you know relationship with Colin can continue like they were becoming pretty good buds before Colin passed away so hopefully maybe they can get back to that even though Colin has forgotten his last year which is truly so sad for Laszlo and yeah I also do feel bad for Nadja like she's always wanted to open a vampire club and it was so successful but unfortunately for such a short period of time and yeah I wonder what she's gonna do next season now that Osterine is probably finished also Nandor still has two wishes left so I guess we're carrying that over to season five I cannot wait to see what he's gonna wish for next this Freddy wish was absolutely insane i was not expecting that whatsoever that was truly the shock of the century for me and i just like it was so weird and creepy but 
I liked it. Like that was a really fun episode. I definitely enjoyed it. But yes, I am very excited to see what his final two wishes are going to be. Oh, I also do feel really bad for Marva as well. I really thought the ending for her would be just her being sent back to her own timeline, to her own original story. Instead, she was turned into a completely new person and now that person is in love with himself. Like that's messed up. Marva for sure deserved better and justice for her because that was a messed up ending. Like she truly got so fucked over because of Nandor, like her entire life. Like she got ripped from her timeline. Then she was made into something Nandor wanted. Like she didn't have her own agency by the end of things and then was just turned into a man. Like Okay, that's really fucked. But yeah, I still, I don't know, I'm sorry to say this, I still do want Nandor and Guillermo to end up together because regardless of how fucked up everything Nandor did in that episode was, I did appreciate the ending where he finally realized how much Guillermo was hurting and how he fucked him over and he was willing to let Freddy go, even though he seemed to be like really into him, but... I don't know how true that was. Like, I don't know. Nandor is a very interesting character for sure. He is very selfish and self... What's that word? Like, just truly out for his own self-interest. And he doesn't care who he hurts in the process. And it seems like he doesn't even understand that other people have feelings too. Like, he definitely seems like he is not very empathetic at all. He cannot think about other people Maybe he's a true sociopath or something along those lines. But I did think that him getting rid of Freddy at the end, letting him go, granting Freddy's wish was a sweet thing for him to do where he actually finally started to think about other people other than himself. So yeah, I appreciated that. And I'm sorry, I still want them together. I don't know if that's like the consensus or not among the other fans, but I think maybe with Guillermo becoming a vampire, this could definitely be something that could happen between them. Like hopefully the playing field would be even between them, like they would be on the same level, like Guillermo wouldn't be below Nandor anymore. So yeah, I'm really curious about season five. I really hope they're not gonna do like a bait and switch where Guillermo doesn't actually get to become a vampire. So yeah, this was quite an interesting season, like definitely the weakest one so far in my opinion, but I do think they've done the theme that they set out to do, which was, you know, like the whole sunrise, the sunset, like this song Lazo was singing where it's like, you start doing all of these things, like Lazo started raising Colin, Nadja opened up her nightclub, Nandor got married, and by the end of the season, they all fell apart, like every single one of their dreams, and nothing changes, as Guillermo was saying at the end, like nothing ever changes around here, like everything went back to where it was at the end of season three, which definitely plays into the whole, like, they're immortal, like, why would anything change? Like, Nandor can just sit and read for 20 years and it doesn't even matter because he is immortal. And, like, why would he be in a rush to change things? Why would they need to live? Because they can live forever. So I do think thematically the season worked. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's a very interesting concept that... They kind of pulled off, kind of didn't. So yeah, this was a wild ride and I am very excited to get into season five next week. I'm really curious to see what they're gonna do next. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, a huge, huge shout out goes out to all my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!